I see the world as unformed clay, with imperfections in need of attention as a work of art yet to be molded, waiting to take shape. I see my hands as a vessel. My mind sketches a rough draft that was inspired by my heart. My mouth is like a tool chest, with words and inflections not limited to structure, with stories and metaphors, with truth and fiction. I see a way to leave an impression. Not like the footprint in the sand, but like a meteor crater stamps the earth. I have a vision that will change people's lives like a child impacts a mother's life at birth. It's measured by the smallest of scales. It's counted as a single number. It begins at a molecular level, yet the difficulty to start its perpetual motion is harder than lassoing the moon. Or else I think it would have happened by now, and I don't think I'd be standing here talking to you. You see, there are thousands of issues we are aware of. That none of us do anything about. They unanimously register as thought, but few of us speak out. It's blocked and suppressed. Nobody cares. It doesn't affect them, and our lack of action speaks for itself. We can't wait for one person to change the world. What a foolish expectation. We must change it ourselves, one person at a time, one seed in a line. So I extend my hand to plant that seed, to nourish roots with the poetry flowing through my veins. This is why I write about issues of domestic sexual child abuse. I put a spotlight view on drugs and their effects, parents and neglect, ego and self-respect. I'm a part of the balance, a neighbor in your community. The stranger you get to meet, the friend you never knew you had because it only takes one voice, one heart, and one passion to create a positive existence in another's life power of one, that one can influence a hundred, that hundred can spread amongst thousands. The domino effect of selflessness can infect a negative mind. It could cure the excuses used for our lack of trying. So step outside your zone of comfort. Unite the community with random acts of kindness. Tell a stranger to smile, or smile at a stranger. This is the beginning of addressing the problems we see instead of ignoring those in need and turning our back when we think it doesn't affect us, but in reality, we all know it actually does. This shaping of the clay must start with you. We must teach this to our youth, because starting with a solid foundation is much easier than breaking the ideals of an old building down, since removing a mental cloth of blindness is harder to do than training the mind's eye from the moment it comes into life, sharpening its sensitivity to see light, to be light. As we generate bright energy from our actions, we, we as a community, can mold this world to one of the finest works of art ever created so that our creator can look at us and say, I'm so proud of how far you've come. Now go and continue to change the world. Thank you. There's Mr. Lale himself in the town. Yes, 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 yes.